right, let's look at how we can fight our enemies. So we're looking to see when we're touching them. Um, so we're going to say when touching occurs, So when touching snow, because that's my character, what I'm going to do is check to see what costume I'm on, and it needs to be a fighting one. If the fighting one, she beats me up. So she has three fighting costumes, and I'm going to go about this a little bit different way than what's done in there before. But if you go to snow, costume two, three, and four, so attack one, attack two, and attack three. Um, instead of using the greater than and less than, I'm just going to call out each of those costumes. So I'm going to say if, um, oh, I need an equals. Um, I need to go to operator and I'm an equals, I'm going to say if um, costume name of snow is attack one, then I'm going to play that punch sound. And then I'm going to hide that bad guy, but I need to check for each of her, her, um, fighting costumes. She has three of them. They're attack one, attack two, and, oops, attack three. So if I play this now, I can attack that one. Now I don't need to re-go drag all these out for my other angry troll. I'm just going to copy this code and do the same thing over here. And if you want to make it harder for her to beat one of them, you just need to put that inside of a repeat two times block and then hide it. So I would play this punch sound repeat twice, and then on the third, hide them. 